This will be uh, part five of our teaching that I've been doing on Are You Righteous? And, um, you know, the reason I'm sharing this with you is because I, I believe that Yahuwah is wanting His people, those that have received the, the Ruach of the Spirit, are, are born from above, that have accepted the Mashiach as their personal Savior, then, um, you know, there's, He's wanting us to, to grow in the knowledge and the understanding of the redemptive work that He's already uh, produced in us. You know, the more that you understand that uh, that you are righteous before our Heavenly Father, if you are born from above, you are righteous. You know, that's the thing about it is most people, if you were to ask them, are they righteous? Most people, even if they were a believer, they're going to say, no, not in, not in themselves, or no, they're trying to be righteous. But see, you don't try to be righteous. You, um, let me ask you this question. This will help you to understand this. Think about this. How are you, if you're a man, how do you become a man? Uh, or if you're a woman, how do you become a woman? Well, you're born that way. You, you know, that's, and that's how you become righteous. You have to be born that way. You don't progress in some type of uh, good works or, uh, you know, keeping certain commandments or rules that you evolve into being righteous. See, the, the scripture declares there's none righteous, no, not one. And if you're trying to become righteous by, by just keeping the law or the Torah or the commandments, if that's all you're doing, you'll never attain to righteousness. Because the fact is, the scriptures declares that, uh, that no man is justified by the law or by the Torah in the sight of Yahuwah, for we're justified by faith. Now that faith has to be directed toward the, the Mashiach or the Messiah. And uh, if you've done that, if you've placed your trust in Him as your salvation, then you have then you can you have the right to receive the ruach hakadesh the set apart spirit that's going to make you righteous before your heavenly father and so that's what i'm uh, wanting to share with you today is to help you to understand that uh, that if you're born from above that you are the righteous ones that the scripture talks about now does that mean that you don't do always everything right no that doesn't mean that you still may have weakness in your flesh. You still may sin. You still may fall short in some areas. But the fact is that you are on the inside, the new man. There is a new creation that's, that's taking place as the scriptures declares that, Therefore, if any man be in Mashiach, he is a new creature. Old things have passed away, and behold, all things have become new. And those things that have become new is talking about the new man on the inside. Now, I want to read from Ephesians chapter 4 where the Apostle Paul mentions this in verse 24. He says, And that you put on the new man, <laughs> which after Yahuwah. Now, he's, in other words, he's saying he's like Yahuwah. Now, we're like him, not because of our outward flesh, but we're like him on, uh, in the realm of the spirit, of the Ruach. And that's what he's saying here. And that you put on or allow the new man, which after Yahuwah is created in righteousness and true, it says here in your English translation, holiness, or that word be set apartness, that you allow the new man, which after Yahuwah is created. In other words, I, if you think about the word create, you think about Yahuwah being involved in this aspect of it. And he is. He, he you know, you yourself cannot recreate yourself. You can't you know make your you can't change who you are by just keeping the uh, the commandments you can't change your nature now that's the purpose of the law that's the purpose of the torah was to actually lead you to the messiah to the mashiach that's what paul wrote about in the in the book of galatians that the law or the torah is our schoolmaster to bring us to the mashiach in other words it was to reveal to you your need for a savior and for your to you recognize your inability to change who you were, to, to actually keep the Torah because of the weakness of the flesh. That's why the, that's why the, the, uh, the, the new covenant uh, is, is in where Yahuwah said in book of Jeremiah chapter 31 verse 31 that a new covenant that he was make with the house of Yasharel, that he would put his spirit in us and cause us to be able to walk in his statutes and keep his judgments and do them. Thank you for joining us for this segment of our teaching, and uh, we'll look forward to our session next time. Shalom.